someone working with a major theater told me that right now they think of it as the 30s, the 1930s at least, and that people want to see happy plays. The trouble is the writers aren't writing happy plays because of environmental catastrophe and because of what's, of what's going on, which we are all pretending is not going on and living our lives and we know, you know, the sun is an enemy and the air is an enemy and the food is an enemy and all these things. And so, you know, in one way, I think our job is to, is to reveal the apocalypse in such a way that the audience has to or can receive it. So I think there's a, 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 a desire on the audience's part, you don't, because it's not sucking up. It shouldn't be sucking up. So if the audience wants happy theater, and you do happy theater in the middle of apocalypse, what are you there for? What is the point? You've got to ring the bell. But you don't have to do it in such a way that everyone wants to shoot themselves. You know what I mean? There's many, many ways to do it. And... I, I, it's not just that the idea is to warn, the idea is to shine light on things, make, make it humanly possible to be able to see where we are and have that, who knows, if, if it doesn't result in action, it results in awareness, consciousness, whatever that is. And that's where I am right now.